Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. Kind of a serious topic I want to talk to you about because I want to hopefully bring some comfort to you. You know that if you've been watching Above Life Channel that I'm a psychic and a medium and I've been doing this work for over 15 years now. So I've had a lot of different experiences talking to many of you who have lost loved ones, whose loved ones are in the afterlife. And one of the common things that I have heard over time has been this feeling of curiosity and needing to know if their loved one how they felt at the time of their death or if their loved one was lonely or felt alone specifically. I think that as humans, as part of our healing process ourselves, when someone dies, we feel sometimes a lot of guilt or regret or naturally wonder and think about how we could have done things better. I think that's just naturally human. That's just human nature to think that way. And I get asked often about time of death, especially for some who weren't able to actually be there at the time of their friend or their loved one's passing. It can be just a very incredible heavy thing to carry or a burden to carry because there's a lot of questions that some, some of you um, would, would ask yourselves about Again, why wasn't I there? Why did I leave? And second guess yourself and question um, if your loved one, if that the person who died is angry at you or upset with you or how did they feel when they died? So I wanna to talk to you today about how, how it feels from the spirits that I've talked to in the afterlife on their perspective of things. I can assure you that no spirit, which is all of us, we're all spirit. You're a spirit. You have spirit, an essence, an energy, whatever you call it, your intuition, your higher self, you have spirit in your body. You are a spirit and a body. Okay, so you're a human person and you're a spirit being. And when you die, your spirit does leave your body. The spirit transcends. It's life eternal. And so it doesn't cease. It doesn't stop. The body does because it has a, has a limitations, but the spirit of you does not. Your essence will live on. And the essence part of you or the spirit part of you doesn't feel separate. So your mother, for example, who, who may have died in the hospital, you know, that, that time when your brother called you and you didn't get there in time before she died, Mm -hmm. Does that sound familiar to some of you? You couldn't get there in time or you didn't know how serious it was? Mm -hmm. Did I touch some of you there? Yeah, yeah. Your mother, your loved one, does not have any kind of anger or resentment or judgment. There's no judgment, specifically the judgment part there's no judgment about you not being there, about them being alone, if they were alone, because some people do transition alone. And do you know why they transition alone? Because it's easier for them. So often I have stories of, as soon as the loved ones leave, go home to take a shower, go get something to eat at the cafeteria, then grandpa takes the exit and he's gone. And even if he's in hospice and there's like this constant vigil by the bedside, I know I can relate to that because I've done that in two instances for my father and for my grandfather. And so as a human person, I can relate to this too. And that person sometimes they just wait, it's easier. It's easier to just leave, check out when nobody's watching you because there's so much attachment to us who are here and the loved ones who are here to try to, even though you're saying with your mouth, your words are saying, it's okay to go. You can let go now, dad. It's okay to go. You can go now. It's okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to take care of mom. We're going to take care of things that will be okay. You can go now. Dad probably didn't even listen to you in human life. Why would he be listening to you now? And the reality is, is even though you're saying that, your heart is breaking. And the feeling of what you're going through is 
one of the ways energetically that we connect spirit to spirit, heart to heart. And so you're not keeping your loved one here. I don't want you to hear that. That's not what I'm saying. But I am suggesting <laughs> that sometimes it's easier for someone to cross over when they are alone, when there's quiet, and they can have that conversation with their spirit guide or an angel that comes to help them. And it's more clear, it's not as confusing when they see the human person, the people they love, and then they see the angel or the guide. It can be much more clear for them. And then they can choose to make their transition. So don't feel like they're lonely. Don't feel bad like, oh, that person was alone. They suffered alone. Even if you guys, even if it's a debilitating illness or a disease and someone has to be isolated or kept separate and you can't see them or you can only see them through a window or they're not even conscious because they're in a medical induced in coma or they're in some kind of a state where they're not not with it at all and have no idea who you are or can't see you. You do not have to worry. You don't have to worry about how they feel. The whole shift in the narrative when someone is dying is they're letting go. They're slowly releasing. They're working through their own stuff <laughs> to help them to release their body and move into their spirit form. And that has nothing to do with you, really. It's not about you, but as humans, we're like, oh, it's all about us. And we think we're doing the best things we can do. And we do, you do, you're well-intended. You, you do the best that you can do. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to be strong for your family. You're trying to be strong for yourself. You're trying to be honest with yourself. You're praying, you're doing everything that you can think of to support healing and to support the natural process, yet you're human, so you're gonna be affected and impacted. And your feelings and your experience are your own. They are your own. So in these times of uncertainty, when people are separated, when they're forced into isolation or they're separated and they have a medical or health crisis and they end up taking a turn and going down a path where they're gonna transition I want you to understand something. I want you to try to reach in to the core of your being and know that what I'm saying to you is true in your heart and in your soul as your heart is aching and breaking for humanity when families are ripped apart and not able to hold physical hands when the, their friend or their loved one crosses over that the spirit transcends that and the connection lives on. In the afterlife, the spirit so often will tell me, but I'm not, they're not, like they feel no distance to you. They still feel connected to you. They don't feel like they've gone anywhere. The only difference is it's not a tangible human touch or experience in that way. For you, there's a deep loss and that incredible disconnection feeling. But for the person going through it, they are not suffering as much as you are. You are suffering. Even if they're, it's horrible or it's painful or you know that it's hurting them, the physical experience is traumatic for the body. The body is built to manage it. The body is built to, to work through and move through the process. And just like birth is not so pretty, especially if you've had a couple, like I've had a couple, you know, like four of them, is a tough process. So too can death be. It's not always peaceful and quiet. It can be loud and chaotic and messy, but that doesn't mean the person is really in pain or trauma. It's not a trauma, it's an expression. It's a release and they are close, close to totally releasing from all of it. And then they don't really remember, like they don't, they don't hold a body that has pain and remember the pain. Most often from my experiences, again, 15 years of sessions, thousands of people that I've talked to in my psychic and medium work, human people and former people, afterlife, I can tell you that they don't cling to the pain. They may share with you in a context when we're having a dialogue or you talk to a psychic or a medium 
in a context where you can understand that it's them and you can reference them because they will go back to where you can recall things if, if it is essential for your healing because that's what they want is your spirit to heal. But the only thing that can heal your heart is you. And that does take time. In human context, it takes time to do that. So I don't want you to feel it's so hard not to see stories, <laughs> especially now people dying without being near their family, without being able to say goodbye. But you all, please understand, it's a human thing, the saying goodbye. Because in spirit, there's no goodbye. There's just forever. There's really no goodbye. It's different, yes, 100%. Is it easy for us that are left here? No, it's not easy. And the spirit in the afterlife knows that. They know it. They know it. And when they show up for you in session, guess what? It's not to help them. 99.8% of the time, it's to help you heal. It's to help you understand this whole process of afterlife. I thought it was a really poignant time to have this discussion with you today here at Above Life channel on YouTube. I know there's a lot going on in the world and a lot going on in our individual lives. I wish your family health and wellness during this time, well-being throughout, and lots and lots of love in these moments, these very precious moments. I'm Bridget. Thank you so much for watching Above Life Channel. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe so you never miss my weekly channeling videos. I also have a vlog at Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube where I do multiple times a week, sometimes daily, vlogs with card readings and other psychic topics. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, the purpose here at Above Life Channel is always to give your spirit inspiration and to give you some hope, some seed of hope because it's your life now, it's on you to live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.